And the Pacific Island countries rely almost completely on diesel fuel and um, that's very unsustainable because um, a lot of the GDP actually goes to importing diesel fuel. So as a result, the Pacific Island country leaders have met and agreed that uh, we need to invest in uh, renewable energy resources. So this project actually came about because USP is uh, planning or is really embarking on, on research to find out which particular renewable energy resources are good for each of the 12 member countries. And that's part of this project. In addition to that, we're also hoping to train as many people as we can within the countries to not just set up the systems, but to maintain the systems because that's really crucial. So that's where this project originated from. And this is a first phase because after that's done, after we have the resources, um, resource data, we would then want to assist the countries to actually set up um, their own renewable energy systems that then they can utilize. This small 45 kilowatt system is going to help us in different ways. Number one is going to produce electricity which will be enough to serve about 10% of our requirement at that campus. Annually it will produce about 65,000 kilowatt hours which is enough to run 50 houses in Fiji, average houses. Number two, it is going to cut down our greenhouse gas emission because we're cutting down diesel usage and straight away we're reducing our greenhouse gas. Uh, and third thing is it going to work as a training ground for our students. We have students coming from 12, 12 different countries, so we're going to use this as a training, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be a live lab for our students. Mm. And then the awareness, the public, anybody going around that's, that uh, corner would see this system, they see the benefit of using solar energy. <music> We will be making measurements of wind, solar, temperature, rainfall, humidity with the help of 34 meter tall towers. Most of them will be on land and some of them we plan to put offshore because we know that offshore wind is the stronger. Another strong component of this project is assessment of ocean energy resources. The South Pacific region has much higher ocean area compared to the land area. Many countries have good potential of tidal current uh, generation, which is an emerging area. It's not yet fully commercialized. Many countries are still doing the assessment. And with the help of all these uh, ADCPs, six of them given under this project, we have making measurements of tidal currents in many countries. Compliment. 대사로서 오늘 코이카에서 3년간의 작업 끝에 태양광 발전 시설을 US 대학 내에서 중공하게 된 것을 무한하게 기쁘게 생각하고 또 자랑스럽게 생각하는 바입니다. 우리 코이카에서 앞으로도 이렇게 그 피지 어 피지에도 도움이 되고 또 12개국 그 다른 남태평양 도서국에도 도움이 되고 그리고 어 우리 저 지구를 온난화해서 살리는 일에도 도움이 되는 이런 좋은 프로젝트를 발굴해서 계속 후속 사업이 이어졌으면 하는 바람을 갖고 있습니다.